Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to uh, give you a quick uh, solution on how to fix the PowerPoint presentation, uh, which has got an embedded video, which while playing, if it is choppy or freezing. Now, the first thing is you will have to understand about um, the file formats, which are supported in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, so most of the file um, format, which are supported in uh, PowerPoint are, uh, mp3 wma or wave files or m4a dot au files these are the file formats which are supported now in case uh, if you are inserting an mp4 file format into a powerpoint presentation and if it is uh, choppy the first thing what you will have to do is um, remove that particular video uh, which you have inserted from powerpoint presentation reinsert it by clicking on insert clicking on video video from my pc and for the demonstration purpose i'm going to select uh, this particular video so this is the way you will have to go ahead and insert the video uh, see if, uh, try to play this particular video in the slideshow mode and see if it works see if it is choppy or if it is freezing if it is uh, not freezing you're good to go otherwise what you will have to do is you will have to go to file under info you will see an option which says compress media uh, under the compress media if you click on the drop down you will see a couple of options so it is always good to select uh, presentation quality so what this will do is it will compress that particular media file which you have inserted into a powerpoint in a better format so once the file has been uh, compressed so you will see and compression is complete you have said about 1.3 mb now what this will do is this particular um, uh, particular option makes the video much more compatible to play with uh, powerpoint and uh, you would not see the lag in powerpoint so in case if it works well and good otherwise uh, what you will have to do is the next option would be to go ahead and disable the hardware acceleration now in order to disable the hardware acceleration what you will have to do is you will have to go to file go to options under options you will have to go to advanced on the left hand side and you will have to scroll down under the display you will see an option which says disable hardware acceleration you will have to check this particular box click on ok so once you click on uh, once you disable the hardware acceleration you can try playing that particular video file and see if that works in case if it that in case if that works well and good you're good to go otherwise the next step would be you will have to insert that particular video as an um, through an embedded player uh, in windows media player so let me uh, walk you through step by step here how to do that so the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to enable uh, the developer tab on your powerpoint so in order to en enable the develop tab what you will have to do is you will have to click on the file click on options under options you will have to click on customize ribbon under customize ribbon on the right hand side of this particular box you will have to check the box which says developer tab you can click on ok so once you're on the developer tab you will have to go to the developer tab on your powerpoint and once you're on this page uh, the next thing is uh, what you will have to do is click on the settings here on the more settings and uh, Click, sorry uh, it, you will have to click on the more controls this is the icons which you will see and from here you will have to look for windows media player so let me look for uh, windows media player here um, ideally it should be yeah it's right here and click on okay so once you click on okay it will give you a rectangular or a cross marks where you can draw the media player so select the uh, highlight using the cursor you can draw the media player here this would uh, i would select this has a size so this is how my media player uh, would look like um, so this is the frame what i'm drawing in right now so once you're um, once you are done this what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on it and uh, you will have to click on property sheet and here 
you will have to select the file name so let me go ahead and show you how to do that so you will have to click on custom click on this dotted lines here browse to the location where you have your video files and uh, look for the video which you want to insert and select the video and uh, how you want your controls you want it to be a full default or uh, no controls uh, so i would select uh, full default and here you can select the options that if you want to be auto start or stretch to fit or play to a full screen this is how you can go ahead and uh, select the controls and if you go to the advanced tab these are the options what you would see here so i'm going to click on ok and close this box so what will happen is you will not be able to play the video on uh, in the edit mode however if you go to the slideshow mode you will be able to play the video so this is how uh, you can uh, go ahead and insert a video uh, into the powerpoint presentation in case if you see there is a lag or if you feel that there is a the, the video is a choppy in powerpoint i hope this video is useful in case if you have any comments or if you have any doubts regarding the steps what have uh, in, uh, you know walked you through on this video please let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to get back to you uh, please do, if you have liked this video and if this video was useful please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching you have a great day